I'm going to talk today about the Serape effect. We've got a few great articles in the Strength and Conditioning Journal that describe the Serape effect. Let's talk a little bit about what that is first, though. The Serape is essentially describing the interaction of the obliques, serratus anterior, and rhomboids, how it wraps around the torso to transmit force and also stabilize and neutralize force. Okay? We use the Serape effect quite a bit in common movements like pushing, pulling, and rotating. Okay, Matt's going to show us what a band punch looks like. Okay, so we're going to have him set up in a split stance. Okay, what I want to see again is nice athletic stance. He's balanced. If I try and push him a little bit, he's, he's nice and steady. You can see that he's going to be loading his back leg, and that's going to initiate the movement. So Matt, go ahead and show us what a punch looks like and hold it for me. Perfect. So you can see the, the hips initiate the movement. He's got the obliques, serratus anterior, and rhomboids all reaching around. He's reaching out with the left shoulder and then coming across and retracting with his right shoulder. It's a really powerful movement. You can probably also see the tension right there in his trunk. If he's not solid and stable there, he's going to fall over. So again, great exercise interacting the hips and shoulders through the core. Matt, go ahead and show us a few more at full speed. Perfect. Excellent. So as you're looking again, driving from the hips, turning the shoulders in opposite directions, really great interaction of the trunk, stabilizing and transmitting force. For more information, check out the Serape Effect in the Strength and Conditioning Journal. There's two great articles. It talks about injury prevention and a lot of different exercise variations that you can use that integrate the Serape Effect to functional movements. Thanks for watching.